In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on February 2nd, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New Orleans Pelicans vs. Dallas Mavericks Two struggling Western Conference teams meet Thursday as the Dallas Mavericks host the New Orleans Pelicans. The Mavericks are 27-25 while the Pelicans are 26-26. These two teams split two games this season, with both winning at home. The New Orleans Pelicans have been in terrible form as they've lost 12 of their last 14 games overall and they will be hoping to put a halt to a nine-game skid after falling short against the Nuggets in a 122-113 road loss on Tuesday. C.J. McCollum led the team with 21 points and 7 assists, Herbert Jones added 21 points with 4 assists and 5 steals while Brandon Ingram chipped in with 16 points and 9 assists. As a team, the Pelicans shot 49% from the field and 8 of 27 from the 3-point line as they stormed out of the gates with 35 points in the first quarter to take a 12-point lead, but they couldn't contain any of the Nugget starters and eventually leaked 36 points in the third quarter to allow the Nuggets to run away with it in the end. Meanwhile, the Dallas Mavericks have been in poor form as they've lost 6 of their last 9 games overall, but they will be eager to build some momentum in this one after taking down the Pistons in a 111-105 home win on Monday. Luka Doncic led the team with 53 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists on 17 of 24 shooting, while Spencer Dinwiddie added 12 points but no other player finished in double figures in scoring. As a team, the Mavericks shot 49% from the field and 10 of 34 from the three-point line as they looked to be in trouble after allowing the young Pistons to take the lead going into halftime, but they lean heavily on Doncic who delivered early and often to crack out a gritty win for the Mavericks. Looking at the betting trends, the Pelicans are 0-4 against the spread in their last four games following a loss, 1-4 against the spread in their last five road games, and 0-4 against the spread in their last four games overall. The Mavericks are 1-4 against the spread in their last five home games, 5-20-1 against the spread in their last 26 games following a win, and 16-33-2 against the spread in their last 51 games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the over is 4-1 in the last five meetings overall. Overall, the Pelicans are 1-4 against the spread in the last five meetings in Dallas and the Pelicans are 2-5 against the spread in the last seven meetings overall. The Pelicans are going to be missing a few players again as Zion Williamson and Dyson Daniels are both out, while the Mavericks are still missing Christian Wood and Maxi Kleber. The Pelicans have been a mess ever since Williamson went down with injury as McCollum just hasn't been able to pick up the scoring slack. The Mavericks haven't been playing much better lately, but they still have Doncic who just carried the team to a win with a classic 53-point performance on Monday. The Pelicans are slipping down the Western Conference standings as they have lost nine straight games. Without Williamson, this team has struggled to find any flow on offense and their protection inside the paint has wavered. Dallas has been through its ups and downs, but the Mavericks have won two of their last three games. With Doncic, Dallas should feel like they can beat anyone. The New Orleans Pelicans are still without their best player, and they're losing their last five games by an average of 11 points. The Dallas Mavericks play their best ball at home, where they win by an average of five points and Luka continues to play at an alien-type level. With zero momentum, New Orleans will struggle against the NBA's second-highest scoring leader. The Mavericks were far from convincing in their narrow win over the lowly Pistons, but they have the best player on the court here and they are simply playing the better ball right now. They're at home, and the chalk is reasonable. So the Dallas Mavericks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Both teams have struggled scoring in bunches over the past few weeks. Yes, Doncic can fill it up, but he also needs help from his teammates to reach the over. Without Williamson, New Orleans is relying on McCollum to score a majority of the points which has not looked great recently. The under is 5-1 in the Mavericks' last six overall. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Clippers vs. Milwaukee Bucks The Los Angeles Clippers will travel to the Pfizer Forum on Thursday night to take on the Milwaukee Bucks in a non-conference matchup. 
The Clippers are fourth in the West with a 29-25 record and are coming off a 108-103 road win on Tuesday against the Chicago Bulls. The Bucks are second in the East with a 34-17 record and are riding a five-game winning streak after coming off a 124-115 home win against the Charlotte Hornets. This will be the first of two games against each other this season as they also face off on February 10th. The Los Angeles Clippers have been in fine form as they've won six of their last seven games overall and they will be eager to stay hot after sneaking past the Bulls in a 108-103 road win on Tuesday. Kawhi Leonard led the team with 33 points, five assists and five steals. Norman Powell added 26 points off the bench while Paul George chipped in with 16 points, 10 rebounds and seven assists. As a team, the Clippers shot just 39% from the field and 12 of 44 from the three-point line as they got off to a sluggish start and scored just 20 points in the first quarter to 19 points in the blink of an eye. But to their credit, they never gave up and finally run down the Bulls in the fourth quarter where they held the Bulls to just 19 points. Meanwhile, the Milwaukee Bucks have been in fine form as they've won seven of their last eight games overall and they will be eager to build on their current five-game win streak after beating the Hornets in a 124-115 home win on Tuesday. Giannis Antetokounmpo led the team with 34 points, 18 rebounds, and four assists. K.A. Tris Middleton added 18 points off the bench while J. Rue Halliday chipped in with 15 points, 13 rebounds, and 3 assists. As a team, the Bucks shot just 41% from the field and 15 of 44 from the three-point line as they looked to be in an arm wrestle until the third quarter where the Bucks pulled away and led by as many as 17 points before holding off a late rally from the Hornets. The Clippers are 4-1 against the spread in their last five road games and 5-1 against the spread in their last six games overall. The Bucks are 6-1 against the spread in their last seven games following against the spread loss. The over is 4-1 in Clippers' last five overall. The over is 13-4 in Bucks' last 17 home games. The over is 6-2 in the last eight meetings in Milwaukee and 6-2 in the last eight meetings. The Clippers are missing a a couple players as John Wall and Marcus Morris are both still out, while the Bucks are still without Bobby Portis, but they should have marred John Bochamp back in the lineup. The Clippers are heating up right now with Leonard and George leading the way but it's always a tough task to beat the Bucks at the Pfizer Forum. The Milwaukee Bucks are going to get the benefit of the doubt at home, where they can beat anybody into the ground on a good night. However, the Los Angeles Clippers are as healthy as they've been all season, and they appear to be turning the corner. The Clippers are winning their last five games by an average of nine points. It's tempting to take the Bucks at the short line at home, but the Clippers have been flying under the radar lately, and the Bucks are only 5-15-1 to to one against the spread in their last 21 home games against a team with a winning road record. Record. This feels like a spot where the Clippers can make a statement. So the Los Angeles Clippers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. These defenses have been doing decently well as of late as Los Angeles is giving up 111 points in their last five games while Milwaukee is allowing 114 points in their previous four games thus far. A huge reason why is that teams are not able to shoot well against them as the Clippers are 10th in the NBA with a 46.7 opposing field goal percentage while the Bucks are 4th in the league with a 45.5 field goal percentage against. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.